Welcome back to the Foreververse, a wonderful little tale in which a bunch of us silly little actors and comedians get together to play role-playing games in a world-jumping apocalypse. Who knows what it is, honestly. They are jumping from world to world, and that is the tale of the Foreververse. You could say it is a mysterious tale of explorers jumping from life to life, facing game mechanics that are not their own, and hoping that the next adventure will be the one to lead them home. Well. So, before we begin, Amy and Jason, I'm sure you're all ready for the song, uh, have a new hit to share with you. It's called On the Run. Why? Because they're on the run. Go ahead, take it away, guys. <laughs> sipping here back here sipping drinks on like the VIP lounge while the live <laughs> concerts going on on the other side of the stage it's uh it, it makes me feel important that is exactly what that's like <laughs> thank you Hector uh, guys welcome back um, so we have a lot to cover today so we're gonna try to jump into it the only thing I'm going to uh, say is is that we want to say thank you again to John Wick presents who are the makers of 7c uh, for providing a unique discount code to you, our viewers, uh, to get 15% off if you go to the store. So if you like 7th C, um, they're gonna give it to you, and we're already <laughs> up on the uh, Look yeah. at all these extra bennies you guys are getting, but you guys are all maxed out on bennies, I think. You really have every, I have out. no bennies left in my little you know what? crate here. I have a Benny, but this one's oh. on the house. Oh, yeah? Right, yeah. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder, what, wow. You know what? No, 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 just stop, stop. Don't stop. stop. Don't no, 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 no. Hector! <laughs> Got it. You hold on to that one, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I want, no, we need those. I want to start using them, obviously. I wonder whose subscription uh, you gave, but you know what? This is going to be one of my raises now, because you oh, gave it to no. me. Oh, no! 
I hope it's for an NPC. I hope it's for an NPC that's on our side. That'd be nice. What are you doing, Hector? What you doing? Hey, hey, but you know what? It's nice that you're thinking about it. Save it for Jimmy. I'm thinking about it too, but I'm not giving you an extra raise. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so let's let's hop right into it. Our adventure continues here on the Foreververse in Thea with The Seventh Sea by John Wick Presents and our lovely cast uh, who is continuing to have crazy things happen around them. And as it was said so eloquently in a song not but a few moments ago, they are on the run. <laughs> so stick around, our adventure continues. So when we last left our adventures, they were still traveling on the... I will wait for all the dice to uh, <laughs> lay onto the table. You know, we're doing dice. Um, it's like bags of potato chips. Or like when you were in high school and you Ooh, had trapper keepers chip. and you would be like... <laughs> <laughs> you do realize that you only need 10-sided dice, right? You don't need like yeah. all those yeah, dice. But I, but I keep them all in the same place. Yeah, Got me too. It. I have a little separate bag. I have a separate bag for my ten sided dice. Separate two reasons. Com I have separate compartments two for reasons? dice. Two reasons. Yeah, one of them I can't find my other dice. <laughs> 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 I have a bag of ten. Okay. Uh, so okay. as we, when we last left our adventures, <laughs> uh, they were on the run in their oyster cart. Uh, leading back into Mercleon <laughs> with Inquisitors in hot pursuit. Uh, some were, came out no worse for wear, like the unconscious uh, um, uh, Nicole there. Uh, the adventure, not get wounded. I like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> well done. But at the same time, <laughs> some other, some others like Stella and Milton aren't looking so uh -oh. hot. No, we're uh, not. A little, yeah. little bit of crossbow bolt action going on there. I think I'm actually the worst. One more, and I got a second. Uh, Whoa! Second, yes, second aggravated. I mm -hmm. have, I have two aggravated now. Oh, you already have two aggravated. Where are you at? Oh. Yeah. I'm Stella, at, you I'm were hurt before I got one. knocked out. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I was... uh, how close are you there? Uh, they ran into one poison. death spiral. Yeah. Uh, oh, total? For the, so much worse when you call them death spirals. The, 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 <laughs> the whole thing is called the death spiral, but. Uh, I got one explosion on my I death think, spiral. I think mm -hmm. they're they're theoretically. I think they're theoretically called dramatic wounds. Wrong. Oh, yeah. thank I you. One thank dramatic you. wound on my death spiral. <laughs> I have one dramatic, I have two, and I'm and I'm gonna conveniently forget to tell you that you get two bonus dice. That's right. <laughs> when you roll versus. Oh me. no. Right. Yeah, because the uh, and I'd like to think yeah, that these wounds were accumulated in quite a dramatic way. Yes. So yeah. a quick thirty second refresher. Seven C is a game of swashbuckling romanticism in which the story is best told when it is in the most epic. Uh, wonderful, wondrous, amazing kind of fashion possible. So, uh, 7C is a lot about building a dice pool um, and accumulating raises based on tens and using those raises to <laughs> dramatically Im uh, influence the story. So, um, you also help each other with those raises. Don't forget, because you will need them. Mm -hmm. um, it's We're kind of past, I would say, our little intro portion to the system and things are now... Uh, well, let's put it this way. We're, we're taking we're taking the training wheels off, guys. <laughs> we're kicking them off, and we're gonna really start playing this game here. Woo! So, <laughs> let's do it! <laughs> oh I love that I like it too. Uh, That's because you don't have any dramatic wounds. That's why you're excited. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. You're right. My death spiral is almost clean. Not quite. <laughs> totally clean, but close. Um, beautiful. So. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, uh, I will I will just um, essentially tell you that your uh, we pick up our adventure basically as dawn is breaking as the oyster cart makes its way inside the city of Merkley. I love that we took the oyster cart. I back. love it. Mm -hmm. yes. I love it. We did. The horses are foaming and very tired from trying to drag your sorry asses as well as an oyster around. Shut so. up, horses. We don't have time. <laughs> Wait, but what happened to? Uh, to uh, Edward's father. <laughs> you. Oh, we left him. With we the left crowd. him there. Oh, the mom. Okay, yeah, this right. is cool. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was inside. Has <laughs> 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 he been in the oyster cart the whole time? <laughs> 
I wonder where everybody is. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dark and it's raining outside. We almost took him with us, and then at the last second, we're like, maybe we should leave. Oh, that's right, I wasn't here, so I missed it. He just him. keeps mm-hmm. reading. He's like, oh, I have a crossbow bolt in my leg. <laughs> where? Oh, I have a crossbow bolt in my leg. Where, where, where did this come from? Oh, okay. yeah, I have a crossbow bolt. He just became an old prospector for a moment. <laughs> um, Good, glad we left him. Glad it wasn't with the darkness neck in the <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're not going to live that down. No, <laughs> not bitter at all. Not bitter at all. Uh, well, you're, to be fair, you're very hard to carry. You're a larger man. <laughs> it's really the cross, uh, the, the dart and the, <laughs> the neck. Dart and the neck. <laughs> that's, the that's bad. I yeah. get it. Yeah, I Under get it. Under the tree in the rain. Okay. Yeah. Still got the dart and the neck. So not okay. <laughs> but ZM could have reminded us that there was a dart and his neck still. Uh, you know, some details. But then are, what would we do, what would we do for like, comedic banter? I was going to say, then I wouldn't have this bit. You're right. I love right. this bit. This is a good bit. Yeah, yeah. Really good bit. Thank you for this not reminding me. This bit's going to last for weeks. You, uh, <laughs> you, uh, you could have that bit. You're welcome. You did so escape the poisonous gas attack, though. Uh, so, at this moment, you, a lot of the adrenaline is still high from basically avoiding not only capture, but potential death, as these Inquisitors um, really uh, taking charge by the, the High Lord and Helico's orders in order to take you down, really were taking their job very seriously. But not so seriously that they followed you into town, or at least what you can tell in the moment as they didn't seem to follow you as you were getting into the countryside leading into Merkleon. Um, Merkleon, as you start to wander into town on a bit of a trot, uh, you notice that it is quite empty. In fact, it seems to be a ghost town of sorts at this yeah. stage. Um, usually, at least in this stage of early dawn, people are very active. They're getting up, they're moving around. You, you know, time waits for no one and daylight is, is present. Uh, this is not a town that wakes until noon to wake up. It's a fishing village. Not usually. to mention, it's still the Oyster Fest. And it's the second day of the Oyster Festival. So, dead ghost town on the second day of Oyster Fest. Not good. Well, because they all went to the prison. Yeah. There's a few a people trickling in and out. Okay. But, you know, it, it is very much not occupied. I have an idea. Let's go check in and see what, um, uh, what's her name? Whiskey? Her name is... Oh, your girl. Uh, her name is not Whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it should be. Ah! Whiskey. <laughs> Darlene or something? It's a, it is a Brandy. drink. Brandy. 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 <laughs> I knew it was a drink. I was Whiskey. Like, oh, Sherry. Oh, Sherry. Love that. <laughs> because I remember <laughs> making a, an alcoholic drink joke. Come Someday on. I want to meet a girl named Whiskey <laughs> know, in real right? life. It's not you know on my bucket out. list. There's one out there. I've met a couple. Oh. Have you really? You don't want to meet them. Have you really? <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> That's another show. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, uh, gentlemen and ladies, are we sure that is the best course of action at this juncture? It, it sh- it we know she'll shoot us straight. I mean, it, it, she is. Do we have time? Is it not the, the, the time of the hang right it's now? Close to, close to dawn. But here we are. We may as well, you know, gather information while we are here. Well, what, we call the Merkleon and then if, uh, immediately leave? What information do we need to gather? Oh, uh, what the, what the, uh, what the, if they've heard of anything at the prison, maybe. Something that could give us an in on how we infiltrate. Well, how long is it going to take us to detach this oyster from these horses? Some of us could stay here and do that, so we're not traveling with the whole oyster cart, maybe. Oh. I, get ironically, faster. as you wander into town and you get closer to the square, there is actually one lone figure that seems to be waiting anxiously, Brandy. sitting Brandy. Uh, at, the, uh, at the fountain. Um, and it's a pudgy, kind of bald-looking man oh. who seems to be confused why no one's around as he holds the reins to two horses and a cart. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Your homie. Like four episodes ago. <laughs> what a dope. <laughs> I mean, what an upstanding gentleman. Yeah, right? I mean, what a loyal friend. Just waiting. We have four horses attached to the oyster cart and have two more here. Mm-hmm. Everyone can go. Right. Uh, but our horses are spent. Your two horses are, oof, yeah, your four horses. Uh, I mean, you you Can rode we... them hard into town, and they were dragging a lot of weight. They were meant to, to parade. 
um, through the town, <laughs> not to go <laughs> and do a high <laughs> speed <laughs> chase like, yeah. with yeah, a giant that's oyster. That's can, we, well, can we all fit in the cart? Yeah, without the oyster? Yes. Yeah, that was the plan. The plan was to get yeah, a cart big correct. enough for all of us. So. The two horse cart is definitely enough to fit all five of you. So. What about all six of us? Oh, he accompany us? His, his, oh your fr- his friend? Um, it's a little tight, but yeah, it's a merchant cart. Okay. It's not... What's his name again? It's been a couple weeks. We can, make one. <laughs> we can make one up. I wrote one in. I think he was part of the cadre. So he was. Uh, would you would you like to would you like to name him for me? Uh, he is a citizen of Avalon, and he was friends of Timothy Wadesbarrow, if you remember right. correctly. No, Timothy. Longfellow. Or Timothy Longfellow. Thank you. Oh, John Barleycorn. No, John Barleycorn is the god. Oh, that's the god. No. <laughs> <laughs> but way to pull a name out of your <laughs> I wrote it down. I didn't. Give any context this to This is it. exactly why it's so important to take great notes. <laughs> <laughs> and now, because you go back to real life and you come back and you forget everything that happened. Yeah. Yeah, now, we can, now, now we're giving you uh, guys at watching at home and, and a reason to be interactive. Take notes for us. And I was about to say, yeah, so did anyone at say. home take notes and can tell us the name? Yeah. The, the, the Somebody's got it. Somebody's somebody, got it. Somebody, somebody remembers. Come on. No? Nobody? What his name was? I, I don't. I uh, don't know that it was. I don't think really we funny. have a chance to really confirm that either, since we don't have a chance to, unless someone's tweeting it out to us right now. Um, mm. Can tweet? Aren't they monitoring the stream? But Timothy Over is. Um, so Timothy Longbarrow is the gentleman who was with it, and he did have two two uh, accompaniments as part of your retinue that right. you earned inside of the Ducks booties at an earlier point. Or I'm sorry, the. Uh, um, the uh, the Wade's Barrow uh, Fountain Inn. Mm. So um, <clears throat> let's call him. Mm, what an Oni? Oliver. The, yeah, yeah. I thought it was an Oni. Uh, it's funny. Yeah. <laughs> you know him only as Oliver at the moment. Oliver. 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 I'm saying that a little. So Oliver. 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 Uh-huh. With an O. Uh. Oliver. Oh. O- Oliver. Oliver. Yeah. Oliver. <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> oh, well. Don't take just Oliver. Take Oliver. Milton. There you are. I've been waiting all night for you. I was. <laughs> I Stella, was stop laughing. Delayed. Oh, I hope it was a good time. Good and bad of relative terms. How many of us can fit in that car? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's my dad's car, and we usually him and me take it into town when we go and sell the honeydews. Well, uh. Looks like we can all fit on there. It'll be right. snug, but uh, I say we make haste for the fortress immediately. <laughs> he, he starts putting his hands out, and he looks like he's trying to gauge the size of how big the normal cart of honeydews for him <laughs> is as he looks at you and goes, You all right? You think you're all about waiting enough to glee in a... <clears throat> Let's try that again. <clears throat> All right, you look like you're all about heavy enough as a cart of honeydews. I think we can do this. Up and then right on in. And he gives you a, puts you, kind of gives you a little bit of a boost up. Um, Takes his time to be a little more delicate with the ladies as he gets into the cart and looks like he's anxiously waiting for you to sit next to him. Very well. (laughs) (laughs) All right, here we go. Where are we going again? The fortress. Oh, right. Everyone else. Oh, Fort Oxenford. Why are we going to Fort Oxenford? Isn't that where everyone else is? Where's know. everybody? That, that, right, where is everybody? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where well, they are, young man. The light, Meal. you know the lighthouse man, Edward Mercus? Hey, right, no, I know his grandfather, he... grandfather Mercus. Right, he's about to be, <laughs> the son is about to be executed. Oh, no. Why is that? Well, we are, uh, it's unclear, we don't want to say. Say no more, say no more. <laughs> <laughs> he snaps the reins he and. Um, <laughs> uh, Why? we are riding, we should tend to our wounds. Some of us have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good idea. Good You're idea. fine, it's a quiet one. No, but if I can help anyone else. <laughs> can I use Miracle Worker in this? In this uh... I believe so. Would you remind me? I'm, I'll yeah, look it up again right now, stuff. but if you have it available, <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. <laughs> Cast iron stomach doesn't really uh, apply here. Oh, well, Although, while well, <laughs> I got able drinker, cast okay. iron stomach able drinker, none of the healing things. Mm-hmm. 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 
Um, so how, how long of a ride is it out to this fortress? It's um. It's I mean, you remember it was actually the. I believe it was the dusk of the second day, and it's it's a half a it's a half a day. Right? It's a half a day. To drive oh, so by the time the we fort. get there, Duder's gonna already be hung and dead. No, no, this is he's supposed to be. Is he supposed to be hung today? Dusk of the second day. Oh, I thought it was. So dawn. yeah, he's I gonna. Also thought it was dawn. Um, well, it's dusk. Sound. I'm glad it's, it's dusk. dusk. I remember it's it being dusk. dusk. No, no, it was dusk. You're right. No need to keep looking. <laughs> I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> I think it's actually important for me to make sure that. Um, no, it was dusk. We have this correct, and no, it's okay it's if, if if it is. If it is, no matter what, it will be dusk because it is currently dawn, and I want to make sure that if you drive into town, there's not going to be any. Yeah, reason. we would have known we, if whatever it was, we would have gotten there. I believe it was on the dusk of the, the end of the second day. I'm just checking my letter okay. from the uh, from the yes. mayor. To make the letter sure clearly says uh, dusk. My my notes obviously are of no use because I don't put context with anything. I just write things. You down. just write stuff write down. John Barleycorn. John Barleycorn. Give us an example. Read just a random sentence. Yeah, let's oh, random Nicole book. steals the guard's keys. Yeah. What does that even mean? <laughs> well, what? no. Remember, she's going to get oh, in yeah. the fortress. Oh, Ali, here's, here's something that That's makes sense. Alejandro enters in a drinking competition for the chance to be king of the Oyster Festival parade. He wins! Thank exclamation you. point. There we go. That's a complete That's a sentence. full, complete sentence. That's a good note. Full, that's that's a great I don't know what we're going to do. John doing. Barleycorn. My, my question with that is who would forget that? That's my <laughs> I don't think any of us forgot how well he <laughs> won. <laughs> my notes are all arrows. Names and arrows. So I have to like decipher that's what they oh, are. Yeah. No, guys, you guys are so good at this note thing. I'm yeah. incredibly impressed. <laughs> Milton absorbs a cadre of festival buddies. <laughs> good one. Like it's a good one. Yeah. I know. Good yeah, right? it's, like, it's like storytelling. Like, if you want to tell the story, we got it. Yeah. yeah. We can just retell. All right, write the book. But you could always just watch the show. <laughs> right. That's true. Well, no, but I'm, I'm just... Oh, good well, job on the song. Apparently not on YouTube. <laughs> Oh, is it? <laughs> yes. Uh, so the hanging is at the dusk of that. the afternoon of the second day. Let's go. Ha! Okay, good. Great. Just, so. Well, what are we waiting for? Well, you wanted to talk to Brandy, but I guess we're not doing that. Let's no, go. Uh, no, no, I don't. We, Brandy we've been either all the same. So uh, since we have some time in the card, I want to take the opportunity to thank everyone for dragging my sorry butt uh, along. Oh, you're with. welcome, Nicole. Nicole, you we care about very much. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, as so, proof, are there any darts in your neck? Uh, no, no. My neck is <laughs> dart, free. dart free, as a matter of fact. Yes. Although, I was really sad that I didn't get to tell everyone that I saw when I peeked under the thing. I saw a white tragedy mask with gemstones on it. Like this one? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, do you guys have another one? <laughs> no, we, have, we one. have the one. This is oh, no, one. I stole the one from his bedroom yeah, like six adventures ago. Another one. Oh. So now we have two. Yes. Cool. Well, that's great. This I mean, if we want to go to the hanging dressed up as a high inquisitor, we can have two in our party. This one's got a, a, a tomahawk in it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. This one is tomahawk free. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we've got that. Cool. Mm. Yeah. So uh, the protocol on wounds mm. and dramatic wounds mm -hmm. is is that all wounds right now, since you the adrenaline has worn off a little bit, are healed. Well, oh. All of them, even yes. dramatic ones. No, dramatic ones stay oh. until you kind of, as we permit in the story, have time to deal with them. Oh, I so see. So since you're having a little bit of a half day drive. Mm. Heart. Nap it up. I and could, with a little bit of a rest, yes. Sorry, I could guys. spend a hero point, of which I have one, with Miracle, wor miracle Worker uh -huh. to um, give one of our heroes Wait, we a have dramatic that, we, we have that back. Benny we got at the first... Benny's are just raises, not Benny's. heroes. Yeah, not Gosh just darn it, why can't I get this one? But so hero points if, are too fancy. If I, basically, if I can... Faithless has two dramatic wounds. Yes. No, no, I only have one. She have has two. two dramatic wounds. You have two. So yeah. I could... Heal her, take away one of her dramatic and that's wounds. and that would if you would like to do that because I'm gonna take away every one dramatic wound away from everybody for this so half the other heart drive so then the other one. to kind of have a chance to dealing with okay, it. So then you'd be fully healed if I did that. So I'll do that. Great. That'd be great. How about you? You that one, right? You good? I only got the one. So you're you're healed up too. Oh, so, oh snap! <laughs> hey, go really team. Miracle worker. So I, I imagine it is more as 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 you're all driving and you're sitting next to Oliver who's humming a tune to himself. Oh my gosh! What a dope. <laughs> 
do do. Does Oliver have magic? Deny your your friends, we're friends, friends <laughs> forever. Friends, friends, I'm a friend with the priest of the old <laughs> gods. <laughs> uh, and Milton's sitting there, like, with a mortal in the pedestal, right. making a paste in order to apply it onto your, uh, your boo boos. Um, uh-huh. My boobies need paste. <laughs> that's, that's another way of putting it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> My yeah. boobies need paste. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad we don't live in that era. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, is there anything else you would like to do? Resting up, obviously, Santiago. Uh, excuse me, um, Alejandro. Alejandro, uh, if you'd like to take a nap on the way there. I'm doing that do it. Mm-hmm. I would like to use... But it has to be a very dramatic way you're napping, though. Like a hero... A, oh my god. A heroic way of napping. Can I be riding a horse and falling and be asleep? That's While awesome. the horse is riding? Yeah. That is awesome. That is yeah. 100% what I was thinking. I'm riding, riding a horse. A horse. Yeah. Just like... Just like... <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Turn around. Lay on the horse. Yeah, lay because on the horse. Yeah. You're just laying on the horse. <laughs> knee up. And just napping. Man, that saddle's got like some that. really good safety straps on it, huh? <laughs> no, it's because he's so alert. <laughs> yeah, he, he's so instinctively alert. He can't um, sleep on a horse like that. But yeah. any, is there anything else you guys would like to do as we continue this half-day journey like onto the fort? To investigate the masks. Now the masks. Plurals. Right. Mm-hmm. So you're, you're talking about the same... mask that was taken. The mask that we got with my hatchet that I've recovered oh. and put it in, and the mask of sheep purloined mm. previous to that. We have two. I want to see if they're identical. That What's was... different about them? Is there blood? Like, are there blood spikes in the back of them so you can like, use them for magic and stuff? What's going on? Tell me about the mask! All right. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Uh, Fateless, as you examine the mask, you know, as you continue to bundle down the court, you look at the one that has the, um, uh, has the axe, the hatchet inside of it, as comparing it to the one that uh, Nicole took uh, from her sneaky adventures inside of the duck's booty. Um, you notice that they are of excellent craftsmanship. Um, porcelain masks, or at least porcelain colored, because mm-hmm. as you could, as you learn because you put a hatchet through it, uh, they're very sturdy. And you notice that it is a, a colored metal. And so it is, a, it is a steel mask of mm-hmm. sort. Mm-hmm. Um, it, is, it seems to have a, uh, it's so perfectly contoured, like if it was made from a, a direct mold, to the point of where one of the things that fascinates you is there's no fastening straps to it. Wow. At all. Um, it just seems like he just puts it on. Well, that is quite Ooh. convenient for identification purposes. <laughs> that mean that maybe That's it, not my mask, really. Yeah. <laughs> maybe it magically adheres to his face? Possibly. Now, wait, both of them are the same? Both of them, no, they're not the oh. same. They're similar, but what's interesting is they both have very dramatically different emotions attached to them. Like they are, in a way, do you, you know the comedy and tragedy faces mm-hmm. that are commonly depicted for Shakespeare, the masks that theater uh, actors portray when mm-hmm. they want to put a dramatic face on and say like the amphitheater mm-hmm. of old Rome? Um, they quite remind you of that. One has a very dramatic face showing anger onto it, which is the one that has the hatchet that was put in the front of it. And the other one had a uh, laughing face, like one of comedy on it. That, um, so as you look at them, they actually are strikingly different because the, the expression that shows on both of them is wildly fantastic and exaggerated. Now, are the gems the same? Uh, the gems um, are pretty much accent pieces, right. and they do have value. If you pried them out, you'd get one well. No, I was wondering if they were the, like the same type of gems, like in the same. No, way. they have different varieties. There's, okay. they're, they're colored, but they do just seem to be precious stones. Okay. So. Uh, you said there was a wealth involved in prying some out. <laughs> I'm telling you that you, if you look at the stones, you, at least at this stage, you can see that they do seem to be precious gems of considerable value. Let's think about that. So. Yeah, aren't we glad I didn't exchange that for the map? Now, I know it was hectic. Yes. A lot of things were going on. I'm mm-hmm. trying to recall, did this face always have anger on it? It always had anger on it. Okay, good, good it was always portrayed. Oh, like if it changes with their emotions. That's a good question. Mm-hmm. I, Just curious. I mean, we're dealing with blood I magic mean, here. We, I don't know what mystical properties things have. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the one that I purloined and uh, see if I can put it on my face. Oh, I'm going to stop her if I can. All right. You, I mean, put your hand on her. Whoa! Oh. Whoa! Whoa! Magical. I like that Nicole just likes to experiment with magical yeah. items by just doing things. I need to know what they do! Well, potentially magical <laughs> artifact. Well, I know they stop hatchets. 
<laughs> okay, what I mean, is it going to conform to my face? Is it going to conform to my emotion? We don't know till I put it on. Well, here's the thing. It's a good point. Right now, it is, uh, well, we can assume that it is set to Ale Ale what is Angelico. Angelico's face. And it is quite convenient as a method of identification that the mask belongs to him. If you were to put it on your face and it were to assume your identity, well, that would kind of implicate us in the Vaticine Conspiracy. Conspiracy. Don't we have the hatchet one, though, that looks like him? Yes, but then it looks like both of you are involved, not just him. So let's not put it on just yet. I'm okay with that risk, but if everyone else sides with uh, Fateless over I, here... I don't know what it will do to you, but I, w I think there's a more strategic time to use it. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> no. He looks very peaceful. Let me see that. Oh. oh, that's right. He is a mage. So I'm going to use my scholar background to just see if I see anything that she did. It's a one of a kind. We're all scholars, bro. It's, <laughs> well, he's the warrior scholar, and you are an arcane scholar. So, yeah. And she's... Archaeologist scholar. Archaeologist scholar. And I have knowledge of the body. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. So. I have the so. biology uh, <laughs> scholar. <laughs> uh, Milton, it's one of a kind. It's... It's beautifully crafted. You can't actually, the thing that is striking to all of you, and you can all notice this, is it you can't even really tell how it was crafted. It literally seems like it was just, it was just like someone plucked the face off, you know, even though it has all the beautiful, intricate, um, dramatic expressions that are encompassed on it. it. It is definitely not, a simple craftsman did not just make this mask. There's something. I wake up dramatically. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I do a backflip into the cart. Oh wow! In the Sir. middle of everybody. Good and morning. I grab the mask. Oh. And I say to the group, "It is time you all knew something about me." <gasps> I have been withholding this information because I don't know if I could trust you, but I have decided just now that I can, in fact, trust all of you. <laughs> but I belong to a secret society. A secret society called Die Cruz Reader. It is uh, not in my native tongue, but. Die, Die Cruz Reader? Reader? Mm -hmm. Yes. It is a secret society that it is full of clandestine warriors who battle monsters and protect others from horrors unleashed by villains. Good. You did not know this because I did not want you to know this, for it is too much to know the true horrors, the supernatural terror that infects our world. Uh, Alejandro, you are aware that we. Jump worlds. <laughs> yes. <laughs> True. But in this reality, like this is like a big deal, okay? <laughs> right. So, yeah. and, and, and you do remember that there was a snake god who talked to us. Yes, yeah, see, I remember. Okay, again. One the second. badgers. Don't forget about yes. the badgers. Oh, I did not forget about that. Plus, and she sucked this typhoon into her right, little cube. Into the little cube. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm sorry if we have We are jumping from <laughs> portal to portal, vessel to vessel in different dimensions. Yes, I remember that. We have a crazy cosmic cube thing that is like a little pixel or something. Yes, I remember that. Also, we just witnessed blood magic. Yes, I remember that. But in terms of the current bodies that we possess, this is a big deal. Oh! oh. oh. Now you're being sarcastic and I do not no, appreciate no. it. No. Do you want like to know to if, I, if I know anything about this or not? Si. Okay, gracias, thank you. <laughs> si, so I'm going to reach back into my knowledge of supernatural terror, yeah. monsters, anything, if anything monsters. comes to mind. Mm -hmm. uh, so looking at it, um, and just see you, because this is something that your vessels would know a little bit about this too, is that the Daikudzin is an Isen thing. Um, Isen is the... You know, we, it can best be described as like a, um, a very war-torn Germany. It's in, instead, of a, instead of fighting the Kaiser, though, it, they were fighting monsters. Essentially, there was so much mm. religious war inside of Eisen that that bloodshed, that thousand-year war, hundred-year war, um, that took place essentially unlocked denizens from the deep and monsters who Whoa. now pretty much prey on all of the people of Aizen Whoa. and bleeding into the mainland of Thea. We because we're scholars. So, uh, <laughs> it's, it's important only because Aizen is now very reserved and a lot of people like um, 
Alejandro have pretty much dedicated their life to kind of cleaning that scourge from the earth as a result of essentially the sins of man battling over faith. You know? Um, what you look at when you stare at it, uh, Alejandro, is, is that it definitely has a otherworldly, <laughs> otherworldly, in this case, otherworldly, not... Other otherworldly, not our otherworldly. Not universe jumping, not forever verse otherworldly. Right. Uh, uh, quality to it. Just because it's not been crafted, uh, it definitely is... It's made by dark magic. Ooh. And unfortunately, you can't tell much more than that. There is definitely a sparkle of memory um, about a, a faceless god. Not to be too confused with stuff that we know, but it is essentially a god who communicates through emotion. And the idea is, is that there is an old god set that the prophet spoke of in the Vatican Church, who was a speaker against the prophet, and he did not speak with words, he only commanded himself with mm. emotion. And the idea was that this, this god, this demigod, fallen god, was, he was Malkavian in nature, he was a trickster, and he liked to manipulate people using their emotions. He was the ultimate con man. Mm -hmm. That's what he was. I assume you're. Sure and he used and he used these ex this expression of feelings against man in order to use it against him, and as a result, cause chaos in the world. So the Vatican conspiracy is not Vatican in origin. Well, at least not as far as Alejandro. Um, um, Ala, not Alejandro. Angelico. Angelico. Why is that needs order? Remember. So, <laughs> as far as Angelico is concerned, um, he may he may have uh, something dived in deeper. He could just be inspired by, by this, these people. and then he's just using it as a as a means in which to you know manipulate his hmm. underlings. Should we? Yes. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Um, so, all of so that. what was the name? Do we name the name of this god? What was the name? Set. Set. It is set. Set. Yeah. S E C T. S S E C T. Sect. Ah, sect. Like without the in. Yes. Sect, emotion, God. Trickster. Good note, Trisha. Trickster, demigod. Okay, so they also call him. They also call him the speaker of faces. Speaker of faces. Speaker of faces. So I guess what we're all saying is I probably shouldn't put it on. <laughs> <laughs> it might be best not to test that theory at this time, Jason. All right. Later, though. I hand the mask. Of course, back we too. could put it on Oliver to see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Milton. All right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well. Uh, so as this conversation is continuing forward, that's also uh, very, very good and interesting as far as um, the revelations uh, of your secret society and especially the monsters. Essentially, you all are now familiar that Santiago in the body of Alejandro is an unequivocal monster hunter. Mm -hmm. So wait, there are actual monsters that could be hunted here? Yes, I didn't want to get into it, but I think we have some time. My brother was killed by a vampire. Oh boy. <laughs> Doesn't that mean he is a vampire? No, he was killed. I saw it happen. He did not come back as a vampire. Are you certain that he did not come back? Yes, I am certain. Cool. And I will never speak of that again. Okay. However, I saw it happen. It was super messed up. Since then, I have realized that the, that the Castilian church is incorrect in many of its teachings. And yet, I have been raised in that way. And I love it. And I love my family. And I want to protect my family. So that is why I have went to Iceland and studied. And I have devoted many years of my life to learn dark crafts. Did and you I have ever, sacrificed much. Did you ever succeed Ooh. in killing your brother's killer? Not yet. Ooh. For that is my ultimate quest. I'd like to do that too. And for uh, people who are... Um, oh, look. 
<laughs> thank you for subscribing. I will, uh, we are maxed out on Bennies, um, but thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, I think I should start using these guys. Everyone right. does have an overarching Just quest that we did establish at the beginning of this, and it has had it's, things have been happening pretty fast mm -hmm. um, over the course of uh, these last couple episodes, but. There is important that there is essentially quests involved inside of what you guys. We all got doing. something we want to do here. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's got something that's important to them. Mm -hmm. um, but as you guys are getting closer, you do see the turrets of the fort ahead of you. It is currently covered in a very dense tree line that essentially leads up into the uh, kind of a kill zone between the um, edge of the forest leading up into the walls of the fort. But it looks peaceful? It doesn't look like it's in chaos? <sighs> right now it's, yeah, no, it's the fort good. doesn't look, uh, one, it, it's still very distant mm. from you, but as you're driving along the road mm -hmm. uh, leading up into it, um, the, de the forest is, a while ago became pretty dense and it continues to kind of be that way, mm. and occasionally you will see the um, fort in the background kind of peek itself out through the top of the trees. Okay. Um, He's a simple you know folk. you're close. He's a simple town folk. I thought they would have uh, siege warfare machinery. So they, no, they would but... Have what? Siege warfare machinery. Oh. <laughs> no, not that we'd see that, but we might see arrows raining down from the fort fighting back mm, against right. the people, something like that. And do yeah, we see the mob? Dangerous. You don't see the mob yet, but you're also still in the trees. But you, uh, in fact, I will go so far as to say that, um, well, it's, it's actually, it depends on what you guys' uh, kind of intent coming into this space is. If you're driving forward, if you're seeing the fort, uh, I'm giving you an opportunity to kind of, now that you're close enough I to the fort. I think what would be wise, we have invitations to this. Yes. We can walk through the front door. Of course, they are from the helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> They're still, will he have reneged? You know, will the guards know? He might be setting us up to be arrested on site when we give certain names. I also would bring up the fact that we have the keys mm. to the uh, prison. If we want to sneak in, make sure Eduardo is A-OK -okay before we go in and accept our invitations, that might be a good backup plan just in case. We could uh, send some of us to investigate Mr. Marcus's fate, and the rest of us to move forward. I could send my snake as a scout. He's just a snake, didn't he say he's just a talking snake? But he can snake still talk to me through my mind, so he's a snake that could scout around and see what's going on. That Do you think he would so be cool. willing? <laughs> yeah, you want to pull Kalisha out? Well, to well, that's out. true, he might be very more than a sack. <laughs> you want to yank out Kalisha Yeah. All right. I'm hungry. Mm. When are we eating? <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, do you require normal snake food now? I, I don't even know what to eat. <laughs> I, <sighs> Spino, I'm a damn snake. Yes, I eat, just like snakes do, and even though we can go a long time without eating, yes, I'm hungry. I have a splendid idea. <laughs> Oh, no. Let's hear your splendid ideas, I Spino. I could send you to scout the fortress, and whilst scouting the fortress, you could eat the rats and mice that live there. What do you think about that? I don't know how to hunt. <laughs> uh, you're a snake. Just let your instincts be your guide. I was going to say, doesn't he eat demons? Uh, mm, this is weird. Demons? I, I, I hate you just like I normally do, but <laughs> there's a different kind of emotion that is with this weird hunger thing that I'm feeling now, and yes, I want to kill something. I want to eat it. All right, put me down. Okay. So should we kind of stay back and, and, a little bit and let him yeah. go? Yeah, and we okay. want to specifically... Because we still have a mental... Thing, right? Yeah, I even tested the distance on it. I was about to say, yeah, how yet. far does that go, though? I guess we'll find out. <laughs> we will. We will. We will. Get on it. Um, so as uh, Kilishima, as you kind of led him onto the forest floor, uh, as soon as he touches down, he's like, oh, 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 weird. Oh, I'm, that's, I'm, never, I'm not familiar with this touching sense. He just is rambling because he's been a spirit for as long as his consciousness oh. has been aware of. Do you feel and now that he's confined? in a... 
What's that? Do you feel very confined? He's he's, uh, but now that he's in this weird corporeal body, he's like he's experiencing all of these new emotions so and things. Where it's like, oh, 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 don't don't crawl over that. Have mind. you experienced self hate yet? <laughs> that seems to be a very mortal quality. It sits up. <laughs> how's, how's Oliver responding? He looks <laughs> back to you. <laughs> And he goes and crawls back down again with his tongue creeping out on occasion. Drop the uh, index card, and how's Oliver responding to all of this? Oh. <laughs> well, I have a really good that. question. So, um, <laughs> Oliver would probably be turning to in the cart and being like, oh, he was looking at the cart, at, this, at the, the mask while you guys were talking about the masks, too. Um, he seems pretty content and quiet. Uh, he definitely is... Um, his hackles are up a little bit. Uh, 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 who, who are you talking to, Milton? Uh, is, um, I often communicate with the creatures of the woods and nature. No, just keep driving. Oh, all that's fine. All right. Wait, that's wait, very wait. interesting. We don't uh, want to actually approach the fortress until after he has. All right, stop driving. <laughs> 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 he stops and he goes. I have to say, you. Five of the most interesting people I've ever been around. Now, granted, I'm from a small fishing village, but wow. <laughs> well, well, I know, a, right? I Very love nice being problem. on an adventure with all you. Uh, We're he's, literally going to the fortress. It's not a big deal. <laughs> so he's really excited about it, though. Like, you are all way more interesting than he's ever done in his, That's in his, cute. in his, in probably in his decade and a half that he's been in this planet. I find so. that adorable. <laughs> and I put my hands on his cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> I stun. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Kalishima continues to kind of marble and you can see, oh, oh. <clears throat> ah, yes, all right. Oh, well, there seems to be a clearing. I've passed the trees and there's this large brick-like thing in front of me. It's, it's, um, it's very tall. Do you see any people? Um, I see. Oh yes, I. It's, it's little heat things. Those are people, right? Yes. <laughs> Seem to be. Yes. Oh, right. Okay. Well, there's a big bunch of heat, fleshy mass. It seems to be sitting in front of the gate, and there's, and there's even brighter bits of light above them. It would appear. I. It's all together. It's actually very bright to look at, and I don't want to look at it anymore. I'm going to turn back to the wall. Uh, okay. Um, it seems the mob is there in front of the castle, in front of the entrance. Ah, anyway, the, the gate is... Yes, well, I think I can crawl underneath it, but these stones seem to be too tight, and I'd... I'd, I'd let me try crawling it up. Oh, oh, no, no, that won't work, no. I, I, <laughs> See I, if there's another way around. Uh, well, their gate you can slither through. Yeah, yes. It seems to be a gate where all the heat blobby things are. Well, just sort of go around them and go through the gate. All right, that's uh, fine. It's, you can miss it. Yes. Oh, they seem to be screaming at me. Oh, that, <laughs> that's, that's, I'm used to that. Uh, all right, I'm going under the gate now. Here we go. Oh, 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 God, speed up. Oh, someone's got me. That's that caught me by the tail. Damn, damn it. I'm, I'm bite going, him, bite him. I'm going to bite him. <laughs> oh, he dropped me. Good. Oh, oh. All right, just get Speedo, back Speedo, Speedo. Just get back He's here. chasing me. He's got a sword. He's going to cut me, Speedo. I have flesh now. Go, in, go into a cage. There, oh, there's a prison. Anything. Go into a... Slide into a, a barred cage. Should we go and rescue him? <laughs> Speedo, 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 Speedo. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't how many like... pe- How many men are after you? I don't know. I'm just slithering. Uh, 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 oh, oh, no, it, oh, he's got me go. Oh, oh, Speedo, um, I, uh, I, um, I just want you to know that, uh, I... I love you. Even though I really <laughs> didn't like you very much. <laughs> uh, maybe you, we should uh, ask him. Definitely. <laughs> were one of the greater parts. He's giving you his dying wishes. We need to, we need to, we um, do need to save it. All right, move this, girl. Let's go. Right. Uh, as kidding. you guys He's run in through words. the forest, uh, you notice um, as you're kind of breaking in through the forest, you can see a bunch of people who are 
kind of, um, uh, uh, actually the gate is partially open, but you can see a lot of the crowd and there's several guards who are kind of standing in front of it. Um, uh, you can see one of the guards holding the long corn snake that is Kilishima, and he's got his sword out and he's, he's just holding on to it and he's got his hands like prepped, ready to just Stop right there! <laughs> Unhand that snake! <laughs> Stand down, oh. God! Stand down! Is this... Is this yours? Maybe? It, <laughs> just unhand him, it's, I... It bit me! He Look is at it. one of the old God's creatures. He should not right. be harmed. We are in a situation now, and there is a very risky... <laughs> mostly risky because Kalishima's life is at stake here. So let's... Talk about approaches. Yeah. A where where bit. are we? Are we still on the outside of the? You're fort? basically you broke through the tree line. Okay. And are now facing the mob with a couple of guards. The guard getting pretty much right to where you are at the tree line, so you're like five feet away from him at this point, and he's got his sword out with the with Kalishima literally just with his head up and around, trying very hard to get away, like a snake would if you picked it up by its tail. And he's got it out like this because he's so long that he's got good purchase on it. But he doesn't have the strength to come up and get him. So that's the situation. It is a grassy, it's very well trimmed as far as foliage goes. So the tree line is very um, defined. dramatic, defined. Yes, okay. it's like trees one minute, grass the next, about 50 feet of grass before you get to the tower. Great. I would like, I would like to convince him that he's a performance snake, and he dances with me in a, in a, in a dance, bardic, traveling. A show. bardic traveling dance. I would okay. like to piggyback off of that and uh, attempt to bribe the guard to give us the snake. Okay. Cool. Uh, so for that, um, some of my money. You've got worry. it's panache and convince. And then you've got Tempt and Panache. Can I, can yeah. I do Panache and perform? Uh, are gonna, you going to perform the ditty that you do with the snake right well, now? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Ooh, uh, I like that. Yeah. All right, sure. He, um, he, better, he better fucking participate. <laughs> it, this is a duo act, Kalishi. Those are your two uh, approaches at the moment. Does anyone else have anything they'd like to contribute in the situation? I would like to uh, disappear as much as possible. <laughs> So and uh, get myself in an advantageous position, perhaps behind where he is with Ooh. the snake. Okay, sure. It's uh, you know you know the deal. Finesse yes. and uh, finesse and um, why am I not finding it right now? That? Finesse and hide. hide. And hide. hide. Okay. Yes. Um, I would like to, since they seem to have this covered, investigate. What's going on over there? I want to take a look at these. All right, you don't have to roll for that. You'll right. just be... Well, then would mind me, I was trying to intimidate him to drop, drop it. Oh, that's right, so you were intimidating. So, intimidating so it's still intimidating, result. and you can either do wits or panache, whichever you uh, feel more comfortable with. Wits. Great. All right, well then let's roll these approaches. I will do the same with my gentleman. Don't forget we have two extra bennies. Mm -hmm. You have Whoa. so many bennies. We have, yeah, so we, we have a lot of bennies. We have all the bennies. Mm -hmm. I might have Thank you guys. Uh, just, and just because it's just to keep track of things, guys, it's like, it, it's, bennies are in the bowl. Like, I'm, I'm, I am. <laughs> I have plus two right here on my page. Oh, you do? Keep okay. track of the extra bennies. Right. We have two extra ones. Um, yeah. that, is, that is fine, but I do think there needs to be a max on bennies at some point. How could there be a max on bennies? Usually we max as to how many are in the bowl and then yes. we're done. The maxing so on bennies because bowl, otherwise the game bowl. will be completely yours. Well, really? We just have to start using them. Yep. That is a better idea. <laughs> okay. So, uh, we'll all right. using bennies. Go ahead. Three so, raises. Three raises. Three. I only had two. So okay. maybe I'll use a Benny to make it three. Yeah, do it. Great. Start using them. You got three. And you One got, raise. Well, you One need raise. another. Take a Benny. Yeah. Okay. Make it two. <laughs> All right, extra Bennies are gone. No, 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 no. These are the extra Bennies. We're good. Now we're, we have Bennies okay. that are in the bowl. So no more extra Bennies. No more right. extra. Now we just have what's in the bowl. Okay. Yes. Cool. And if you get more, like they will they cool. will be a wash. Okay, so we need to start like, using these things. I like Damien being on my team. <laughs> 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 we need to use at least three to five Bennies per game. Otherwise, we're going to. 
<laughs> yeah. That's fine by me. Right. As long as you're right. using them. Uh, so great. So who of three would like to uh, use their he race could have first? Already... I mean, we're, that's we're... right. You did. You, so he stopped. Like you, you basically you commanded him. He stopped and was like, "Why should he just bit me? Why should I not kill this snake?" He is no normal, ordinary snake, sir. Is he yours? He is ours. Allow me to show you a little bit of what this snake and I do. I mean, use your hand as the snake. Uh, oh, Kalishima, dance with the wind, dance with my heart. Oh, Kalishima. In case it wasn't clear, it's a performing snake and she is a performer. Oh. <laughs> While this is happening, I'm disappearing. Dance with me. Uh, spend the rainy, dance Benny to spend the race to disappear. You got it. Um, <clears throat> all right, so he's going to drop the snake. Uh, <laughs> as it goes down, it goes. <clears throat> and Kilishima uh, is going to go straight towards you. And, I uh, grab him and put him back in the sack. All right, he steps back into the sack. You get <laughs> did, here. Did you have to, he didn't have to bribe him at all either. No, he, he, we, we didn't even have to get that far. But you guys stupefied him. I think <laughs> he was really dumbfounded at what he was watching. He just went. <laughs> <laughs> or or we seduce the fuck out of him. Oh my god. You hear, you hear, oh, Kalishima song. You hear Which Kalishima inside go, oh, I don't like being mortal. It's not very fun. I'll get you a nice mouse. You didn't like being a, 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 a You can't a decrepit... hear Kalishima and what oh, he's saying. So Only you can This is a him. private conversation he's, between he's who he still acknowledges as Spino, for the record. Um, <laughs> Uh, so you watch the guard after, after putting it down. Goes, <clears throat> what you all? What is a performing troop doing here at Oxenford Fort? As he sheathes his sword. Are, Are you here with this angry mob? We're here to entertain you. <laughs> yes, we are. We are here. We are here to entertain the guards. We know how hard you work. The oyster festival is happening so many leagues away, and we are here to make your days a little better. Spend the penny to convince them. That's a raise. Or spend a raise. Yeah. Now I have a coin that says we work for the mayor, right? Uh, I, <laughs> you're in it. You're in it. Sorry, we everyone. Just you know. We'll go this way. We'll go this way. Going this way. I was going with it. Yeah. The hand's been dealt. <laughs> I don't know. I'm like, I, I, no. Um, Put that away. Uh, now. Well, <clears throat> I don't know why we'd be hiring performers when on a, the cusp of an execution. We work for tips. <laughs> 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 What's happening right now? All right, I've got a few. They didn't hire us. I've got a few couple. Let's see what you've got. Oh, yes. <laughs> get out this snake! <laughs> boys, boys, come on down here. So Nicole's saying got me a performance him. troupe ready to do some <laughs> snake dance with us. On look at the curves on this one. Nicole's standing behind him, and at this point, it was like pulling out her single shot flintlock pistol and is now just holding it to her mouth. <laughs> 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 Why did I say that? No, this is good. He points, good. He points towards Fateless and, um, and Alejandro and go, All right, what, what, are you two, what are you two doing there? How act? many guards are there? Uh, well, there, there's more coming. Uh, right now, there's two. Um, I'll paint. I'll paint a little portrait for you. Yeah, maybe um, there's. Maybe that's we enough should of tell a distraction. Them what's going on. No. I'm gonna call myself security. <laughs> what, if, what if we're a great distraction? If you guys are a great distraction and I'm already hidden at this point, I could just take you the keys get, and go. You have the keys. Nobody yeah. took them from you. No, that's what I mean. That's what's cool about role playing is that we can talk out loud, but then like in the game, it's like, oh man, we were reading each other's minds. Hey! <laughs> I always thought if you ever went to a role playing world, you'd have to have like some kind of crystal that enabled you to read each other's minds so that you could have these conversations. In right. crit roll, they actually have an earring that allows them to talk to each other like that. In which way in crit roll? Yeah. yeah. Um, they got a whole they got a whole magical item to deal with. That's what I'm saying. You would have to have uh, something like that. Yeah. One of those. We need those. Right now, we're using the, the magic of storytelling to allow you to kind of <laughs> yeah. get all this together. Also because... And friendship. And friendship. We're so in sync with each other that it's <laughs> like we have like group telepathy. Stella's and back there with the eyebrows, like... Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And I actually, and I actually enjoy it because it, it's very... 
perfectly swashbuckly. <laughs> just, you guys just like, all right, we're a performance <laughs> troupe. Yeah. Let's right. do this. Let's do this. <laughs> um, so here's yes, and kind of the situation as it stands. Uh, you've got a couple of them. Um, this is the front. This is basically the front. So this is like a, a ten foot space. Um, or I'm sorry, a 20 foot space between where the fort is and to where the tree line is. And um, you've got a bunch of the angry mob. Where'd my freaking. Yay, miniatures are coming out! Yeah. Minis, minis. Throw yours in there? Let's do it! I've got fitness right here. Boom. We can do this. He's so cool. Oh, well, that's true, and our other minis coming in the key. Can I? Yeah. Yes, of course. Yeah. Don't drop it. Uh, wow. I'm looking for my. Um, Oh, ah, wow. would you mind handing me an expo marker, Milton? <laughs> slash Jason, slash everybody. The uh, the black one down there? Yes. The one that says Please. expo one. Oh, wait. Oh, here. There's a bunch of them. Just wow. one of the ones that says expo one, bro. They all, but there's so many. They there's on the wall, on the fall, on the bottom. The black expo marker. He specifically asked for the black expo no marker. Black. It's actually in the, the one on the bottom. On the, on the bottom. The, the, that's, the, a the, that's a pen. That's a pen. Ballpoint pen. Oh, it's a ballpoint pen? Never mind. I'll take one. I'm loud and wrong. <laughs> very loud and very wrong. <laughs> I'm proud of it. Ooh, these are bright. Wow, he's beautiful. Wait, wait, I want to see him. Oh. <laughs> I took him away too soon. Yeah, wow. Are this is from Hero Forge? So Hero, Hero Forge, Forge made the mini and the painting sure, thank you. job is from Iron Tusk Miniatures. Hell yeah, the painting job is it. amazing. Okay. I'll go read it. What is it? This is from Nicole, aka Trisha Hirschberger. Yeah. Yeah, and he actually, uh, if you notice the. Thank you. Remember I talked about the necklace? There's actually two shirts and that stitching that he turned into a necklace. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, Check it out. Wow. Oh, I need to see that. I still haven't seen mine. Uh, yeah. So you can bring your minis up if you'd like, um, and I'll place them. Yeah. See? Place them. Oh, that's badass. Yeah. You want me to really deliver cool. your mini over there? Sure, you're closest to him. Yeah. Don't you have yours? Where's yours? Where's your main? It's not here yet. No. It's here. It'll be here I, next week. I didn't oh. get mine yet. Yours is. Um, Ivan should have oh, mine. Oh, you didn't get yours yet. Because you got it last week, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. No, yeah. No. Should be in here. Hector, sit down. <laughs> you make a better door than window, bro. <laughs> um. Um. <laughs> Trish, yeah. to my understanding, it was in this box. It oh. may be somewhere. Uh, uh oh. It may be Phoenix, somewhere. Phoenix has it. No, it's going to be in one of these. Yeah, it'll be in one of those. Oh, it could be in one of these. Interesting. Do you, it would be we'll, in one we'll of these. approach it because I okay. don't want to we'll break the call up too much. It is protected, though. And it, just, it might just be in one of my crates. But I thought I kept it here or in one of the boxes. Oh, you know where it is? It's in the GM hutch. Ah, is where uh, the where's hutch. the GM hutch? The GM hutch is, is right up there. So um, if you'd like, I, I know exactly where it is. Uh, I'd like you to kind of think about what you're doing here. Okay. Because there is definitely um, four guards as well as the angry mob who is <laughs> part of this whole series of tree line mm -hmm. on this side. And this yellow represents our angry mob. That these four are looming after, and it is the gate is ever so slightly open. Um, oh boy. Good to know. <laughs> and Trish is ever so slightly in there. <laughs> I'll be right there. Go again. Okay. Ooh, I think it will be worth it. I'm excited uh, that you guys are gonna do a show. I'm sad that I will be missing it. <laughs> I think you're the only one who's sad that she's missing it. Like well, she's doing a snake dance. Spirit. Do any of us have instruments spirit. and the ability to play said things? Yeah, maybe one of the guards has a guitar nearby. Uh, can you uh, play? Maybe the guy. Maybe I feel like there's guitars in the next room there. of this of this fortress. Yeah, does anyone have an advantage or a skill that lets them play? I'm gonna go ahead and say I have I a mean, I have performed. I have one that I can perform. Okay. I have, I have one two, I, have two, I, have two, I have one in perform as well. There you go, look where a performance is. I'll play Guys! Bring them on my staff. I'm playing the horn flute. I'm gonna be the horn I happen to have. So you have not had a chance to look at it yet. Mm -hmm. no. The unveiling! Oh, the so unveiling! Excited. Oh my gosh! Bam, bam, bam. Bam. Take some photos 
up to put on Twitter later. Yeah. Yeah, it's man. Awesome but here, I'm going to take it from you. Okay. <laughs> we don't have a table cam quite for these. Okay. This is at least enough for you guys to have a general idea. Turn on the table cam. Ba -ba -da -da. There's a cam. I see it. It's not on. It's not. It's not hooked up. <laughs> um, Who am I, do you ask? I am the announcer oh. to this fantastic duo that you see before you. Yes, coming from all around the world, we are bringing to you the musical and dancing stylings of Donnie and Marie Osamand. <laughs> Round of applause, guards. Round of applause. And this is security. No, 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 no. no I'm no, going to no. reach in and pull out my horn flute. <laughs> That's a horn flute? <laughs> and start playing the horn flute. I was in, a, I was in a dramatic pose, but I just look over. <laughs> I pull the snake back out and I'm like, you're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, don't make me do it, Speedo, don't make me do it. Do no. You live or die. Smooth, Speedo! It's a matter of life and death, you have to dance! No. I, hand, I hand the snake to her. And I let her <laughs> him. The reluctant snake. <laughs> <laughs> it, starts, it starts just like... I'm gonna go, on. just... Spend I, a raise to make some of the most. I, I actually mean, rolled, so I should roll. You should roll now. Yes, yeah. you I should. I think we need some most uh, uncomfortable eye Some perform and some. What's that? Uh, Performance and finesse. Yes. Oh, finesse. Oh, finesse. Panache. 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 Yes. Panache. 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 Some beautiful nice. panache. Do I still keep? I keep what I. Oh yeah, you haven't had a. So this is still part of the same scene. One. Okay. And you're gonna spend. You're gonna spend a raise to dance. Oh yeah. Like you've I'm never spend danced a raise to dance. before. And I want to spend a raise to make the like make them not look away. Regardless, one of them with uncomfortable <laughs> eye contact. Okay, you want to basically lock it. You want to you want to <laughs> force their hand a little bit and keep them right there. I got three raises. <laughs> That's good. I got three raises. I'm gonna play the hell out of this horn. Okay. <laughs> um, you not only have the attention of the entire mob with this uncomfortable, but these four are just just transfixed <laughs> as. As Nicole just kind of <laughs> ever so slightly makes her way around and um, yeah, spend spend a raise to uh, to go in there quietly. You with, got it. Well, with those keys, mm -hmm. so you slip on into the fort, and um, this is this is kind of a situation outside. But now I'll paint you the picture of where it is. The thing that happens, Nicole, is, is as soon as you open the door, you mm -hmm. see a uh, portcullis. Mm -hmm. That is the second chamber leading into the main fort. Sure. And it is filled with people. Okay, is there like a back entrance in to where the prison might be? The prison, well, I'll show you kind of how it's going. I am very serious about my horn flutey, by the way. <laughs> I can see that. I, I, for real, though, <laughs> want to see Damien playing a horn flute now. I do too. Actually, I, I did play the horn flute this kid. <laughs> That's why. I, I still am in awe that a horn flute's a real thing. Of course it's a real thing. Mm -hmm. It's a horn and it's a flute. It's, it's a flute made out of horn. Made out of like a a horn from a, like yeah. a ram. Yeah. It's the wrong that Oh, kind of I'm thinking like the horn. She's thinking like instrument? a sax. No, no, no. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah, I get it. Oh, I, get, yeah. I got where you were going. That's why I'm like, what? And I got where oh. you were going too. I'm super <laughs> prepared. I grabbed the wrong map. I will be right back. <laughs> Okay. We'll bring it up. Uh, Let's perform some more. <laughs> yeah. See? Horn flute. We're missing else. an appropriate Google horn yeah. flute. Look it up. Pictures. That last one you showed me looked like a turkey leg. Yeah, it was kind of an interesting. I mean, so it's a nice I just learned cool. that a turkey leg, mm -hmm. when you get turkey legs, they're not turkey legs. Oh, no, definitely they're not. Emu. They're emu legs. Yeah, they're emu legs. You thought they were actual turkey legs. Ah. I just never questioned it. That'd be the largest <laughs> turkey ever, right? The what? Wouldn't it be the I largest mean, was, yeah, turkey yeah, ever? Yeah, I, I, just, I didn't really, really so like ever the think about it. So like the Renaissance Fair, we're eating emu legs? Yes, yes. you're eating emu legs. 
That's crazy. Uh, I don't know how I feel well, about Well, think that. about it. Have you, you've eaten turkey legs. They're right. not that big They're and they don't have big. that many yeah. like, sinews. That's the same thing. I never question it. I never yeah. question I it. never question what meat product I'm eating at the Ren <laughs> Fair because like, it's the oh, Ren Fair. It's, it's a turkey leg from ye olden times. Yes. <laughs> and they transport they have prehistoric it with turkeys with that they just machine. randomly start. They're <laughs> using the ye old growth hormones. You know, my favorite my favorite was going to the Excalibur casino in Las Vegas. Vegas, is they had a uh, one of those cart stands that you see um, when you're walking around in it. It had the old tavern sign on it and it said, Ye old 3D laser crystals. <laughs> Ye old. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, <that's pretty> cool. <laughs> it was wonderful. So Trish, uh, you are coming Hi. in through this gate. Got it. Kind of right here. And, um, and we got the Hexagon outdoor map. Hexes are out, baby. Yeah, hexes are out. So as you kind of come in here, you can see there's a large I wouldn't say a large group, but definitely a um, hundred people or so. Benny! Benny! Benny. Let's use, somebody use it right now. <laughs> we're we're so, still full. <laughs> so we, we, you see a large group of people, and you can kind of hey. see the stage that has been built at this point. Um, you see the stage that has been built at this point with several star, uh, stairs going up. You can also see a large uh, support beams. Giant pillars coming that looked like they were, um, you know, drilled and then staked in, mm -hmm. and then uh, has a, a very long support beam that seems to have uh, capable of, well, carrying a lot of weight. Okay. Oh, hmm. Okay. For the hangings, by the way, like I said, I'm very serious about uh, my horn flute. Can't see that. <laughs> oh, the pan flute. Yeah, got it. Great. <laughs> Like, I'm playing oh, that. Oh, that's you. I'm playing the hell out of that. You got to tweet that out. So that I, it. I will tweet this photo of me playing the flute. Let's do it right what now. What was that film? I've, see, I've seen you in that. Uh, that was yeah. Cute Peel. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's cute awesome. Peel. <laughs> Sweet. That's really um, cool. There's a, so there's a, there's a large stage lifted, and right now, there doesn't seem to be anybody on it. Okay, and to your left, or to my, uh, to your right presently, you can see two very large stone buildings that um, have uh, stair cases leading up to it. There's one that's presumably very close to you, and then there's one that's kind of out where this proving ground is a little bit. These are normally training grounds, but you can see they've been repurposed um, in order to make it into uh, an executioner's platform. Got it. And as you step out, you can see uh, beyond just what's going outside, coming into coming into the antechamber, you can kind of see all this through the portcullis as you kind of get closer and you put your hands on the grate mm -hmm. and kind of see this large open space in front of you filled with people and the scaffolding. And as you watch as a couple of birds fly by, um, making circles inside of the, uh, the, the whole area. Mm -hmm. And it just has this ominous tone in which there are just a large amount of people waiting. They've even set up seating. To watch some people die, did they? Yeah, to watch some people die. Cool. Right. So mm -hmm. my intention is to try, without being noticed by any of these people, is to try to find if there is an entryway to where the prisoners are being held. I would like to evade all of these people that are here for the ceremony of it all. And just get right down to there before the guards come to take them up for so the execution. It's too very difficult. So that will be difficult. One, because you don't know where the prisoners are. Right. All right. And there's two buildings that they presumably could be in. Okay. Okay. And both of them are being looked at in the background of this entire crowd. Okay. So you're going to be in the line of sight of pretty much everybody, no matter which building you would like to go to. Even though I already spent a raise to hide? You spent a raise to get in there without anybody else noticing you. Well, but additionally to that, I spent a raise to hide. Oh, well, you, you spent a raise to hide so that nobody is currently seeing you at the moment. So at this stage, even though you're, you're, you would basically, at this point, I'd allow you to get a raise to like come all the way back here and around to yeah. kind of come to this side because it would be on the back of everybody. But you need two raises to be unnoticed getting into any one of these two doors over here. <laughs> Benny, no. Benny, Benny, that's why we... All right, so, I, so far out of my three races, I spent a raise to hide, and I spent a raise to get in there unnoticed. unnoticed. So I had now, one left. also, to be fair, mm -hmm. there is two doors in the antechamber here which seem to lead to presumably the walls. Let's use the walls. 
Okay. So if I can take a door out to the walls, can I scale up a wall and Assassin's Creed it and run across the top of the wall? Well, the wall is uh, patrollable already. Okay. Yeah. So, so you. People they didn't there? come and see the show. The wall patrol. The wall patrol is on there, seeing the show at the moment. They are looking down. Okay. <laughs> From this no, top here. We gotta use Betty's! Subscriber. Use yeah. Betty's people! <laughs> Alright, well, you said it's gonna take two raises to get I'm in one of those doors. <laughs> yeah, because I'd assume you'd be going all the way around here to maybe get to this one, or you'd be like sneaking across this wall and trying to yeah, pop Yeah, I'm thinking it. sneaking across the wall, and I'll take a Benny so that I have two raises to do that. Okay. Good job. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. They're coming in fast so we can use them. That's the best. <laughs> I know, but they don't count when they're coming too fast. Right. I'm saying. It's, it's coming just in dancing. Right now. <laughs> I know. Oh, we're having it. Yeah, so back time. to the outside here real quick. Uh, you guys outside are, um, you know, your performance is going on and you're you're continuing to, to, to just ham it up, work at it. Now that they're, they're kind of getting into it, they're clapping their hands to the pan flute as you're holding it. And you've got all of their diverse attentions and you can kind of see that even the angry mob, because they're there waiting and they're upset, they're like... At least this is something to watch. <laughs> <laughs> and they're they're pretty impressed. And some of them actually even start to get up and dance. Oh, <laughs> nice. Look what we've done. That's how you pan flute. That is. <laughs> if you want to keep going, you both have to spend another raise. Uh, what else am I going? I need a Benny. <laughs> Take a Benny. I'll, I'll use it. Take a Benny and spend a Benny. So you've got these three that are on the wall plus the four that are on the floor completely entranced by your... The dance. The eye contact. So think, um, what am I? Three bennies down now? Two, three bennies. You're three bennies down. Okay. That's, uh, the, that's the. Alejandro. That's the kicker. The eye contact. Um, as you're kind of sitting there after your announcer, you step back to the forest to kind of watch as your friends are, you know, doing the biggest filibuster of their life. <laughs> uh, when you feel a hand on your shoulder and you are pulled into the brush, into the back of the trees. And you watch as a man clasps his hand over your mouth. No. As he looks at you, you can see he has a bandana tied around his head. He oh, has his, a, a bunch of uh, like marking on his um, face, I'm and he seems. Rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he seems to be wearing um, a sailor's garb, a bit. Is uh, he, uh, he, is, he has high cut pants. Do I recognize him? His face? You don't, but he looks very piratey. The Crimson Roger? Is he the Crimson Roger guy? He looks at you and he just puts his mouth up to his lips. Uh, as he kind oh, of moves nice you one. back into the forest okay. a little more. Okay. So. I will follow. Oh, splitting the party! Splitting the party! Not too much, though. I'll um, follow him. Well, we don't know that. He only no. takes you back about five or ten feet just to get you out, kind of out of the tree line. With an ear, without earshot. Out of without earshot. Without earshot and sure. goes. Is he <clears throat> Vanya Mortaburn? Vanya Mortenberg? Yeah, the captain of La Lupine. <laughs> oh, that is not Vanya. No, that guy dead, probably. <laughs> <laughs> that guy dead. Uh, I had forgotten Vanya Mortenberg. No, you yeah. haven't seen him yet. Um, and he goes, <clears throat> He said yet. Oi. <laughs> <clears throat> Look at you out there, fancy pants, distracting them gods. What are you doing here? You here to break out Mr. Marcus? Mr. I don't know what you're talking about. Who are you? What are you doing here? <laughs> well, let's just say that you and I, we both have some plans up and <clears throat> that you and I both have some similar plans if you're trying to break somebody out of there. And I can tell when someone's putting a ruse on someone. You and who else? Well, he looks around a little bit. Me and me friends. How many of you are there? Oh, well, <laughs> I don't think that's too fair to be telling you. I don't know if you and I are on the same page yet. Well, you know how many of me and my friends there are, so... <laughs> All right, well, but that gives me the undisputed advantage in that conversation now, doesn't it? Fair point. <laughs> okay. Now, are you, are, are, I'll, just, I'll just ask you a simple question. You two and your friends here look like they're ready to make a little break for things. I don't... You may be fooling them guards, but I can tell that you've uh, you've got a thing going there. So what what you what you doing at this fort? I am just the announcer of Donnie and Marie Osman. Oh, all right, all right, all right Mister <laughs> Announcer Man, I'll get it. Um, I'll just put this out to you, and then I'll let you get back to your friends here. Me and my buddies here, we're gonna be uh. 
work in a little distraction, you could say, because we got a we got a very important person that we want to get out of this little situation. Now, if that's the benefit of you and your friends, then I say let it be. All right. But if you're out there screwing me with that high inquisitor asshole up there, then I'll tell you, I'll find you, and I'll slit your throat faster than you'll ever see me coming. Ooh-wee! So he hates the Inquisitor. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we capiche? Yes, hang ten. <laughs> <laughs> hang ten, that's, that's weird. I never heard that one before, but... Uh, I, it is also strange to me. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> uh, yes, we capiche. And you see as another gentleman, also dressed up in a sailor's outfit, comes up and kind of slaps his buddy on the back and goes... <clears throat> All right, I don't think there's really too much here to explain. Obviously, our little friend here is out for a potential gain just as much as we are. Let them have their fun. And I'll just say, if you can contribute to our little chaos, well, we'd be quite in your debt, sir. <gasps> and you'd be welcome on our boat any particular time you wish. Mm, that is good to know. What, is the, name of your, what is the name of your <laughs> vessel? Uh, if, you, uh, if you're doing a good job and you're doing a good thing for us, we'll find you. But uh, until you then, you don't have a vessel. You don't have a ship. <laughs> That's right. No worries. But hey, you get a you you get out of here. Um, <clears throat> you get out of here, Perkins. I'll uh, I'll wrap it up here. And you watch as, as kind of mm -hmm. Perkins goes out. Perkins the, the pirate. Somebody write that down. Arrow, Perkins. Yeah. Perkins the pirate. Where did my pins go? Man, I'm I'm out of pins. I've got all the things today. Um, I'm naming Perkins a Chaos Pirate in my notes. Oh, I see it. It's, the Chaos it. Pirate? Yeah. Perkins a Chaos Pirate breaking out a VIP. He wants us to aid in his chaos. Um, so as the other guy kind of stands there, as he walks out, getting out of earshot, um, you hear him. He would kind of come back, you got this big old, as you heard, he was like, <clears throat> Oh, uh, Perkins, you get out of here. I'll, I'll wrap this up here and make sure we get back to the mating spot. And as soon as he's without an earshot, you kind of, um... Oh, my gosh. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm a little concerned. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh, I think I might have a daycare thing. Oh, no! I apologize. Just one second. I know. Okay. Hi. Meantime, we're performing. Yes, we're yeah. dancing. Right, performing quite right. a bit. Keep your biggest eye right. contact. All of the eye contact, the bowl of the... Yeah. The panther thing is four inches. I hope Nicole can hear the act from where she is. You have never seen plan. Like, I hope I'm inside and like hearing this, this amazing <laughs> pan fluting. Uh, and pan fluting like uh, no pan fluting I've ever pan fluted. No, I've done that. That's the I hope four to six it's every so single good. Wednesday. Um, it's so good. It's so good. It's so good. Woot woot. Oh, yeah. So Kalishima is like around your arm. Yeah. Just like, um, Doing like, his so nice. He's having the time of his life. He doesn't even know it. I don't. I don't think he does know it. I think he was kind of pissed about it. I think he is. Time. Okay. Alive. Everything's fine. Hey. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, we have some more. To I, yeah, it was we amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I heard it in the background <laughs> as things going out. So, but, uh, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Keep performing. Keep performing. I'll never stop. Back in the Benny Bowl. As Perkins get out of earshot of you and this new, you hear him change his immediately and goes. Hello. What? Who are you? What is happening? Oh, come on! If you don't know by now, Jimmy. Seriously, who else knows you as Santiago? All right. Difficult. I know. I know. It's been. Long couple weeks, and it's I'm, we left you in a bad place. Time, I get it. You're not where you're supposed to be right now. Where, where am I? Supposed to be? I don't know. have. We have ways of kind of tracking you down. You're not where it says you are. Hmm. That's like a bad thing. No, that does not sound like a bad thing. No, it's good. It's it's it actually is really helpful right now because Thanatos can't find you. He doesn't. You are. Mm -hmm. just, you know where you are, but I just happened to stumble upon you guys. Yes. Well, what are we supposed to do? Well, we're working that out, but it's getting more challenging now to kind of find out what your next jump condition is. There's, 
In this mm -hmm. world, there's a portal, supposedly supposed to go to ethereal, like, heaven kind of place. It's the seventh sea, whatever it is. But it's a destination it's supposed to be Elysium or Valhalla or whatever. It's the game with it, right? Um, it's real, whatever. It's in this place. And we think it has something to do with why you're in these bodies right now, but it's that's essentially that gate is the best bet to jump out of here okay. because if it's if it's Elysium and it's the afterlife, then that's probably a way out of the universe. Probably, could right. also be death. You're dealing with death. Other moment at this case. Fair so. point, Jimmy. Jimmy. Yeah. No. Ah, it's, it's yeah. You <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I I've literally been up for almost 102 hours at this stage. Oh, well, you should be dead. Yeah, I should. <laughs> uh, I'm running on a lot of... But I, all I can say is, is that... The deal, you have some time, but it's, Thanatos is probably going to ping you at some point. Do we try to get to your friend's ship? No, 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 no. no. You don't want to run with these guys. No, they're bad tickets. At least if... So, uh, I have seen what they've done to some guys who, um, well, weren't necessarily honest, put it that way. He's a VIP. Um, so, uh, don't, <laughs> don't get on their bad side. But yeah, they do. It's a nice one, too. They're trying to bust out, uh, mm -hmm. a captain. Yeah. I literally just hopped in here for about five hours so that I can go and try to get some information just happened to be here. I got a reading on you. So, uh, I gotta, I gotta leave. These are waiting for me. Okay. It's getting harder. I used to be able to walk amongst the worlds like this without people noticing me, but now it's, now, now it's getting more difficult. So, just stay quiet. Don't cause too much attention to yourself, but if you do, just make sure you're surrounded around other people. You, by the way, I'm sorry about Sam. So, um, Me too. Well. that's the problem. Is if he gets you alone, Lantos gets you alone. When that's when you guys don't come back. Okay. Um, but that's it. Let's go. Let's go. Um, okay. Go do your thing. Do my thing, and I'll, I'll meet up with you as soon as I'm able to, okay? Fantastic. And he watches, he, he, he takes off, stumbling over a couple of twigs, and then stands up and kind of like gets his pop back, and then goes back into a hunched piratey stance. <laughs> as he, as he that yeah. was awesome. <clears throat> uh, I double backflip back into the clearing. <laughs> Ta da! Use a Benny right now. Let's do this. I'll use a Benny. Oh, and then you. All right, <laughs> Benny it up. Benny it up. Double backflip. Yeah. <laughs> Ta. Oh, Beautiful. everyone claps. Oh. Oh. I think we can end the performance here, right? Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Seth. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching. So, uh, in the meantime, with this, Nicole, uh, you uh, uh, essentially into here and you managed to use to slide on in. Great. Um, and you can see that it's a set of barracks. So, okay, so uh, not the prison. It is definitely uh, a set of barracks, and it, but it does have more doors potentially leading into other parts. Benny! Put that Benny back in the box. Well. <laughs> Man, they just want to make sure that you're fresh. Yeah! I know, right? Yeah. Spent. Uh, there also seems to be stairs going back up and stairs going back down. I mean, this is the first area, the waiting room. Of and, um... <clears throat> You, uh, you do see two guards who seem to be sitting there at tables, drinking and eating at the moment. Um, they haven't noticed you yet since you just popped your mm -hmm. head at the moment. But uh, they are definitely in your way. Okay, can I hear anything they're saying as to maybe where the prisoners are being kept? Uh, you want to get closer? Yes. How many do you have left? How many really? None. Take a bay. <laughs> we gotta get these down. People I enjoy. Going, oh, I enjoy that these coins say one fate point, and fateless just gave them one. Ah, <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, but your 
fake <laughs> left <laughs> because you gave away all I'm the points. I'm trying to get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it is. It's because we use Benny. Those are Bennies from the Fate Core system. So, uh, um, they're cool. So, uh, okay, yeah, you get a little closer. You have to spend um, a Benny to not be heard as you're kind of getting around them. So, kind of coming up with your okay. with your uh, uh, shoulder against the wall a little bit, just trying to just trying to listen in on their conversation. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, you can you can definitely hear them talking. It's like one of them is. <clears throat> Roy, man, I, you know, I just don't think it's right what we're doing here. It's, I mean, we've never done a hanging this size before. There's so many people that are going to be out there. I mean, how are you going to contain a mob like this? The other one. <clears throat> well, you know, uh, they all seem to be pretty plastic, except for those ones outside at the moment. You know, uh, Alejandro made a, or <clears throat> Angelico made a big deal in order to only bring people who would not make a ruckus outside. I mean, you see them all out there? It's like a picnic. They're there with wine and cheese and crackers, ready to watch these people die. Yeah, I know, it's just, um, well, I don't know. We've got a, we've got a few minutes before we're supposed to be bringing them out, but I just, I just don't think it's right. I mean, yeah, they're all Vatacine pigs, but, you know, a lot of them are just town folk. And you can hear them kind of continue to kind mm -hmm. of banter as they change the subject. Um, they don't seem <laughs> impressed by, of course, the conditions of which, of when they're doing this whole kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But uh, they are definitely just soldiers doing their job at the moment. Just following orders. Following orders, as they say. Mm -hmm. um, you also notice uh, that besides the barracks, there's just a huge amount of, uh, of, of armor and weaponry inside of here as well. It's like, this. it's a barracks, so it does, mm -hmm. this is kind of the area in which they gear up, so to speak, to go sure. to. So you see pole arms and several large uh, kegs, um, as well as just, well, sharp things of all kind of shapes and size. Got it. Yeah. And, um, I don't know, how does that, that feel for you at the moment? You want to double back and meet up with the group? Do you want to try to do a little more with these guys, see if you can make an effort with them. Uh, so I can't get to any of the other doors or anything without going through these guys? It's, it'd be two, another two raises just to get by them. All right, I'm gonna double back and meet up with the group. All right. Nice. At least I know that one building is barracks and not the prison, so we got that much intel. Right. <clears throat> Uh, cool. So you kind of double through and you can see the, the grating and you manage to kind of unlock and get back into the main area. Mm -hmm. um, what coming out is kind of part of the crowd, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, uh, you see the angry mob who is still pretty much not able to get in and they're all distracted basically by this final performance of your group as they're clapping and they don't even notice as you kind of like shut the gate behind you and very turn well the key done and put it back into your pocket um, appearing next to your group yes best performance i've ever seen well done i think you are right uh, all right well that was uh that was <clears throat> all right that was definitely worth a few silvers that's for sure it was one of the best I'm, shows i'm gonna say I've yeah seen. i'm gonna pull out a hat or a bag or something. Pony, pony up men throw them down you know, you don't get to see good art every single day. And they throw down essentially... As long uh, as you appreciate the nuance. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they throw down enough various coinage that you earn a wealth. Hey! Uh, Who's gonna hold it? A worth a wealth and tips and bits. So. Oh, oh, Faithless can hold Faithless, it. Oh, Faithless, you hold yeah, it. the hat. Mm -hmm. I have any dead mice floating around somewhere? Feed my snake. <laughs> Anything. Dead mice. A rat, perhaps. Oh, that thing. That, oh man, I'm sorry. I almost killed that thing. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm. Well, we might have something inside of the barracks, at least. Uh, well, I have no. a final raise. I mean, if I could convince somebody to find a. Is there some, what can I do with this final raise? I got. Anybody need it? Let's do something. Uh, get a raise. Uh, Burn it in my pockets. Uh, Burn it in my pockets. We could ask the gentleman instead of for a rat. From the barracks, perhaps a rat from the prison would be more Kalishima's taste. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh no, I, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I can't be letting you inside of the prison. We have a very tight contained unit in here. It's a, you could say it's a VIP execution today. It's a very strict guest list. Fateless. Uh, 
It may come as a surprise, but uh, we are actually upon that guest list as guests. Mm. Like an <laughs> hmm. Um, all right, here. He watches, he pulls out a parchment and mm -hmm. um, brings it over and goes, Names, please. Faithless? Faithless. Faithless. Ah, here you are. Faithless. Mm -hmm. And of course, he, my companions. Yeah, he, he, right? Plus no. four? N yes, plus four. <laughs> 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 yeah, just, just, just take it. No, uh, remember they were down in Austin. Strikes, <laughs> strikes the name, names uh -huh. off of the list, and okay. um, and ushers you inside after rolling it back up and kind of putting it back into his pockets. Great. All right, as we go inside, I want to kind of nod to everyone else, like, <clears throat> barracks over there. Like, the mm. things that I've noted once I was in there. Mm. Well, we're back, we're back together. We can probably do a little bit of talking amongst ourselves. Um, yeah, I just don't know how much they can hear us where we are now. Well, why don't we get seated and then discuss everything we've discovered and then figure out a plan. Right. There's a few empty chairs, as you can mill amongst the crowd. Yeah, well, let's, let's mill into a small group and share the knowledge. <laughs> we have knowledge to share with each you, other. Let's you do, do see as there is a few guards who are occasionally patrolling the crowd just making sure that everything's copacetic and that no outside food or drinks was brought inside. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh, outside oh. food or drinks. All, you want to, all uh, pigeons are turned off. <laughs> all pigeons are turned mm. off. Do you want to allow Kalishma, Kalishma to hunt now? I, I don't think that would be a good idea at this point. Okay. Uh, uh, Aaron God, it might not have seen the show. No, don't <laughs> let me out. I'm so hungry, but I'm just going to go back to sleep. We need to find him a rat soon. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, all right, so we share, have we shared information? We know what she knows, we know what he knows? Yeah, so she shared, um, and then if you want to pass along your encounter with Jimmy. <gasps> oh, 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 Seventh C. Great. So we're supposed to be at a portal somewhere? Yes. So, question about the door. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's very important. I was going to do that. Uh, let's, can we do the momentary, the, the, the at the moment thing right now? Um, she, the door was open and she slipped in? No, it wasn't. She locked, I basically it. locked and unlocked it every single time she but, came in and but out. But you could unlock it again. Mm -hmm. the, to the door to the barracks, or should we try the other door? No, the front door so that the mob outside could get in in case we need them. Um, I thought you said it was already open ajar. There were just guards standing there. Oh, um, thank you for that. The portocollis is shut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's uh, a door with some guards. But the, but the, the, the door is open at least much of the antechamber and the guards are sitting there, yes, okay. protecting that mob. And um, the, uh, the, the challenge is that the people who are sitting out there at the moment, who they're... When you guys were ushered in as kind of like VIP members of this, not only were you recognized as people from the community because you kind of came in and were part of this whole ordeal there, but that whole kind of mob riled back up again and Good. they started just getting angry like, well, why are they getting in? What? Who's, who's letting them in so they can watch our friends die? This is... And you watch as they start to kind of all start to rush mm. that whole area again but with the pole arms and, you know, Pistols and with archers up at the top, they're no one's willing to die themselves, right. you know. And it's very, they all kind of make noise, but no one's really well, no one's no one's pushing their luck, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the, the noise is all that really, really, right? And you do see, for the record, the fact that they still have the two tied up guards that are still in that group. And oh. they have them uh, as part of the hostage, but they haven't seemed to have done anything with them. They, it seems to just kind of be there like the guards really aren't willing to negotiate. And at this point, they're just waiting to make sure the job gets done. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> this is all information if you'd like to be able to get it from one of the guards as you're coming in. Mm -hmm. um, that's, that's up to you if you want to get more details. But you did notice that the two hostages are still hostaging. Are still hostages. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. You have a tense situation here. Mm -hmm. You're in the midst of a mob. The stage is still empty. Mm -hmm. Probably not for long. And at this point, you're all seated with another crowd of people. One, and you, you do see the mayor there. He is. Mm -hmm. Of course, he is. Um, but. This is a bit of a social gathering for sure. 
Mayor Quinn yeah, Lemaine. Quinn Lemaine. You have to not be afraid to make a scene. Right, but it's just making the proper scene. At the, uh, at Do you guys remember moment? the end of that first Pirates of the Caribbean movie when uh, Jack Sparrow was about to get hung, hanged, but then like his ship was on the ocean right next door and then it was like a distraction and he jumped out and stuff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are we near the ocean? No, we're not. <laughs> We are, oh, near, the are near the ocean. Oh, we are near the ocean. Smiling. Question, question, cool. question. And there's, what, and there's what, a pirate cool, cool, cool. ship. There but, is. But we're, we're, we're not the ones about to be... Are we going to throw Edwin Marcus off? No. Oh, well, yeah. and, the, I mean, and, and wait, 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 wait. If we're near the ocean, the pirate ship that are coming to get their captain is probably right there mm -hmm. in an effort to do something very much like the thing that you just <laughs> suggested. So this is good. Okay, we have a lot of pieces moving here. Let's figure out what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of plates spinning on a lot of different mm -hmm. sticks, just spinning. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. What if we... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What if we... Is there any chance for one of us to act like we're Edward Marcus, like switch places with him? Because they have that, the black... For what hood? Purpose? For dramatic effect. Yeah, so, do so we they get hung. So oh. no, no. So the, do we reveal? And well, go, I don't know that he's capable of of like an escape and and like uh, a, a fight, a punch out. Yeah, he's not. Yeah, no, but we so, are. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so when we, we get when we get up, when one of us they, gets, they usually put the hood on right before they. Yeah, come but out. what if we? Wanted, what if we said we were Edward Marcus and we wanted the hood on before? <laughs> I, I just don't know where you're going with this. Yeah, well, it would just give us a chance to be up on the stage. Or we could just to, rush. To surprise us. You're saying it would be super thing. dramatic if we were brought right. up on stage to be hung and then we're like, ha ha, I'm not, not Edward Marcus. Marcus. Yeah, and then they're like, well, where is he? Where is he? And at that point, we're already rushing him out the door. What about the other innocent individuals that are going to be hung as well? How many? They, we, could, we could rush all of them out. I mean, it would just be one of those like moments where the So do you want to just go down to the place and break them all out? Well, that's what I tried to do initially, and mm -hmm. I wasn't able, even with the keys, to get to where the prisoners are being held. But you were in the barracks. You weren't in the other... Right. Area. So if we wanted to go right. into the other part, again... Where we're look, we're, so everyone's looking at the stage, and those doors are behind the stage. So everyone would watch us walk back there, walk back there okay. and potentially sneak people out. Do we want to just go parlay with the mayor and try to, you know, reason with the man? There's a lot of options for you guys at the moment. Yeah, I'm like yeah, the, the mayor's right there. We could go talk there's to the mayor. The, there's the mayor. So, there. I'm not saying it's impossible to sneak in to go break okay. out Edward Merkus. I'm just saying it's hard. You okay. Know? We and, could kill the mayor. We could. That would be a distraction. That would be a heck of a distraction. A fight to distract. So that mayor seemed like he was really under the thumb of his superiors, so I feel like to convince him of anything, we would need to maybe pretend to be his superiors or say we've had orders from his superiors or we something We do like have that. two masks that are very clearly of of uh, arcane make that happen to match oh, the yeah. face of... Yeah. Yeah, and Helico that do. we could use in our convincing of him that there is more going on here than he should, and he should not kill his subjects until he clears what the hell's going on with... That's a possibility. And Helico or Duke yeah. Palfrey? Yes. That, you know, that possibly... I mean, there's there's obviously a lot of stuff right. going so, on. Right, so the, the kind of break it down, for at least for the moment, because I feel like this is a, this is a pivotal decision for you guys. Yeah. Is, is that you can sneak in to break Mercus. Mm -hmm. You obviously know that there is other plans that are in effect right now, and you could wait for that to happen. Mm -hmm. You could go and try to parlay with the mayor to see if you can get a pardon for Mercus. You know, um, although you have been told at this point that there's more people than Mercus involved, but at mm -hmm. least you can get him out of the line of fire. Well, we, I mean, we can use Mercus to kind of convince him, and and the whole thing with. And Helico to convince him that, that would be know, more challenging, but it's always an option. Everything's possible. Right. Yeah. You know, uh, everything's possible with and, the imagination. And of course, uh, in encountering the mayor and, and maybe, you know, starting that whole thing up could potentially give the other individuals who are attempting to break someone out a distraction as well. So it just depends on how you would like to approach this very dangerous and dire situation. Do we want to approach this now? We got ten minutes left. <laughs> Everyone, why don't we make the decision? I think, I think, I think I like the sneaky route, like as much CT? as much as we sneaky. can. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sneaky, sneaky route. Sneaky we can route. also separate. Some of us can go talk to the mayor. Mm. Some of us go break out Marcus. Mm. There's no reason we can't do that. Yeah. There's no reason not. We could pull it. We could do the classic Scooby. 
Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm obviously in favor of sneaking out the prisoners, but that's because Nicole likes to avoid confrontation. She's not the best in battle. She, her skills are much better suited to doing things submersively. So uh, I will certainly happily volunteer to try to sneak into the other door to hope mm-hmm. maybe that's where the prison is. Uh, I have a question that's about the world. Yeah. The outfits of the Grand Inquisition, mm-hmm. the Castilian Inquisition, do people recognize that as what it is, or is that a secret thing that normally people don't know what that is? People know what a, what Castilian um, clergy look like. Okay. But They're that's familiar something with diff- that. With the masks and everything, that's something different, But it's right? not a common knowledge, and especially not in Avalon. Like, maybe if you were in Castile... Right, there might right. be a good choice. There yeah, might be a good right. chance that someone might be like, mm-hmm. "Oh, that's the Inquisition." Because okay. we have the white, ma- we have one of the white. Right, that's what too. I'm saying. We but, have a, but, but, we have a bunch of stuff here that we can use to convince the mayor that uh, things are not, you know, up on the up and up. We have robes, we have masks, so we have a body. I want here's a body. what's happening. Okay. <clears throat> as you guys are talking and trying to lay out your plan, as you're whispering and you know, you know, just trying to decide your options. We do need to talk point. about the Jimmy thing. <laughs> you do watch as. Mm. Several guards start to come out through the two main doors. You hear the doors swing open vroom, vroom, and hit against either side of the stone um, as both, both the doors, doors are wide. Both doors, the barracks door and the other door? No, just there's a, it's a, it's a two door. Got it. It's like a wide it. door. Mm-hmm. As you watch um, several, um, essentially several, uh, a captain who seems to be like a warden. Um, is walking out with several sets of prisoners. You can see six. Time to talk to, uh, gotta go uh, talk to the mayor. And they, they start to kind of wander out through the main entrance. They take them up to the area here. It's a very slow moving procession. Um, you kind of see as the people uh, are, you all recognize them as townspeople, but there is so w- one particular person who sticks out amongst the crowd. It's Brandy! <laughs> Brandy! <laughs> what what are you doing there? John Brandy Corn. Uh, Wait, Brandy's getting hung now? What the hell did she do? <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm Brandy Corn. <laughs> what did you do to this poor girl's life? <laughs> so, uh, uh, you see as the, the stage standing about ten feet above the ground... Uh, with six men and one woman standing upon it in different stages of grief. Okay, we need to we need to move now. Uh, who's coming with me to talk to the mayor? Wait, not. I mean, you can, but let me finish this. Um, the uh, sorry, <laughs> still still painting the picture. Paint. Um, the wood on which the stage is built on it stands sturdy, and it seems to uh, have shown signs of being hastily put together. It's not a stable structure. Mm-hmm. And guards stand on either end of the steps. And a man who now steps up from a chair on the back here stands with a large black hood and um, begins fitting nooses over the head of the 15 or so men in the various, or the, sorry, the six or so people in various stages of grief. These two large columns sit on either end of the stage and are anchored deeply into the dirt with a large sturdy cross beam spanning across the bridge, sturdy enough to hold the weight of all six. The one lone woman who is standing in the midst of the crowd appears to be the only one not very tense or overly concerned. She stands even with a smile on her face. If given, a, if you look at her and you can see that if given a sword, she will dispatch any in her way, including mm. the enemies who would be standing with her. However, she does not. Um, she's uh, drastically beautiful and um, curtly dressed with the rest of the group so she definitely stands out amongst the air. I admire that woman. <laughs> um, and uh, you watch moments later as you see a man in long robes, <clears throat> not red robes, but long robes come out onto a patio which you now notice is on the second floor on this side of the barracks Hmm. And you distinctly recognize him as Angelico. Fuck! As he stands onto the patio and waves his hands in order to silence the entire crowd, who at this point had been having a general mumble and murmur inside of the air. 
And that is where we are going to ah! start. <laughs> For next week. I know, terrible. Ooh, I... Terrible. You may execute yeah. your plans accordingly at the beginning My of the next God. session. <laughs> which we are we are here at the hanging. Um, and hello. And uh, yes, guys, join us next week as the moment you has come. You kind of need to. Yeah. This, if, you're, if you're gonna don't if you're gonna miss an episode, don't miss yeah, next, next week. week. Uh, Pretty pirate lady. Uh, as Pretty pirate lady. There will be a lot of uh, there'll be a lot of swashbuckling action. I would there think. Will. I yeah, think there be shall be for sure. Some swashbuckles ready to burn. <laughs> burning through some bannies, y'all. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Some full bannies yeah. going. Um, so make sure to come in next year, bring some friends, and tell them to subscribe so that none of our swashbucklers will die. Yes, yeah. please. Uh, I mean, we're going to burn through these bennies next week, so we'll need new subscribers. <laughs> 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 uh, and thank you again so much for watching. Um, we really appreciate you joining us week after week to kind of watch us do this little adventure, which... I, you know, I, I would be doing this anyway uh, with my friends at home, and I'm really starting to enjoy it where the Seventh Sea is taking us a little bit, but the fact that we get to share it with you makes it even better. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pretty yes. Cool. Um, lead. We'll see you next week. So, All right. Yeah. Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Foreververse. Make sure to like and comment and subscribe as we'll be releasing episodes on every Thursday on GNS's YouTube, starting with the first episode right here. If you'd like to jump ahead to the current point in our campaign, you can always watch us live on Twitch Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you want to watch Foreververse episodes that are available right now, you can always go to projectalpha.com. They are all there for you. And if you want to watch episodes that we've already released on YouTube, there's this fun little playlist right here. Thanks. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>